sitting here with GSP. What's up, man? Very good, my friend. Thank you. Nah, am I being disrespectful, man? I'm walking around Montreal in the in the Bell Canada Center with a with a Red Wings jersey on. It is that being disrespectful or? No, not at all. You you uh, you're proud to be from Detroit, and I respect that. You're proud of your origin. It's that that's good. That's cool. That's I mean, cool with me. Even from customs to just walking around the city, I've been getting some Hey Go Red Wings and some Hey, what are you doing with that on? Yeah, because people are completely insane here about the hockey uh, in in Montreal. You know that's our national sport, and uh, I'm not one of these. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I'm not thinking the same way of most of uh, the, those hockey fans. Yeah, but you are. Uh, you're real big in Canada off the uh, UFC, and uh, actually, you know, you were actually named the uh, 50 most beautiful. What is the beautiful <laughs> striker or takedown or beautiful what? I don't know. Like <laughs> I just made the end of the interview. They told me the yeah the beautiful uh, celebrity in Canada, but whatever. I think it's <laughs> it's because I'm a fighter. It's not because I'm beautiful. I think people are they have uh, like fighters have a certain uh, sex appeal maybe that that help them have their this these these ranking. You know. Right. At what age did you uh, start fighting? When I start fighting, yeah. uh, I I start training. I was seven years old with my father under my father. And I start fighting, like competing, like since then. But professionally, my first uh, professional fight, I was 19 years old, okay. almost 20 years old. So we have uh, in Detroit, man. We really we got we got some uh, MMA fighters out there. We're really trying to uh, grow it. What would you? Because you're actually going to be a coach on Tough for the next season. What? That's exactly. Yeah. What is uh, what? What type of advice would you give to a fighter who's actually coming up that you would you know look for you being a coach? I have to, to to tell you the okay that I will coach a yeah. fighter that I will coach. Well, I will be uh, I will be telling him that, that you know to keep keep his goal in in his head and uh, keep the the main thing the main thing the main thing. And that's that's one of a, a, a line of sports psychologists that I, that I that I that was my friend he used to tell me that before a fight. Said keep the main thing the main thing the main thing. When you have a goal in your mind, you have to do this. So was your goal to clean out the division? <laughs> <laughs> now my goal is um, to be when I retire to be known as the guy who made the difference not only the inside the octagon but also outside the octagon and maybe also I want to be like the best uh, the best of all time you know that's my goal and to do that I need to fight the best. So not fighting tomorrow, uh, you fight the winner of uh, Cost and Daly. Uh, you beat Cost before. Um, who do you want to win? I want the best guy to win. They're not like even I beat Koshek before, but he's not the same fighter that he was the first time. So I just want to fight the best guys. I don't care. Like I mean, uh, I want. I want. I hope it's gonna be an explosive fight. A, you know, a good fight. And I want. I want. I want to fight the best guy. You know, that's why I want. Other than the uh, Kaz Daily fight tomorrow, you got any other any predictions? Of course, my boy Patrick Cote will win, and of course Jonathan Goulet will win as well.